so I am back with another painting update. So this week I have been painting some Savage Core, and these are the Simeons, um, the Simeon faction. I have both um, two sets of bods as well as two leaders. Um, got the one leader here which I sort of focused on in the showcase to focus on and go up to and this is the second one that was released over there. Um, the leaders are actually painted slightly different colors than the bods. It's harder to see with this one. I use three primary colors but um, you know I use a lot more Averlin Sunset in that one and then this one ended up having um, I believe that it was orange and Averlin Sunset and no brown and so um, that's why I created a little bit of a different coloration and so they ended up looking he ended up looking pretty similar to the other ones he's a little bit lighter and you see him up close but that'll help just when I'm playing the game um, and so really uh, right now I have enough to play an entry-level game of Savage Core as far as a faction but uh, I could add another two sets of bods to actually do a one group more of a little bit of a bigger conflict. But at this point, I'm ha quite happy to just start with these guys. Um, yeah, so really happy with these guys. I, I wanted, I like a lot of the colorations that I see people do on these. I mean, I really like a dark color for the Simians to kind of like think of like most Planet of the Apes types. And I like the um, Lucid Eye Studios where they did the white and have like a snow sort of um, simian effect. I want to do something a little bit different and I always like the idea of, doing, of the sort of um, orangutan look uh, with Planet of the Apes. So these, I was kind of thinking about calling these like my O-Tangs, my O-Tang um, faction. And you know, maybe come up with a little bit of a backstory, but I, I like how they have a bit of a red and yellow. Like if you remember from Planet of the Apes, like the leader had a bit of more of a yellow tinge and he's got like the yellow going on a bit more. Um, and yeah, so I thought it'd be a little bit different. And I've envisioned this for a while when thinking about doing this faction. And yeah, I think it came out pretty good. I, I like them. Um, I think it, it came out okay. And so um, beyond that, I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, I am I have started something else as well for Savage Core, but I'm still early days with it. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just move these guys aside and just cut back. So I've actually put together um, and based and sculpted the base and attached the tail and the horns for the mastodon or um, the woolly mammoth. And so the hardest part with this was actually the tusks just because um, I probably should have pinned them. They're actually not pinned. What I did do is I sculpted a little bit of extra green stuff around here and kind of glue them on and then encase them with some green stuff. And uh, that should be okay, I think, as long as I'm not hitting them onto something. I think it'll be fine. I didn't even think of pinning them. I was talking to a friend and he just mentioned, what did you pin them? And I thought, no, I should have spoke to you beforehand. That's exactly what I should have did. Um, but yeah, I didn't. And so I think it'll be fine though with what I've done. Um, you do have to bend these metal pieces in order to get them to look the way you want. And I think they came out good. Um, and then, yeah, I've attached the metal tail as well. This is a really nice looking model. I'm kind of, all I've done really is prime it and undercoat it at this point. I have to paint the tusks, the details, and paint the model itself. Um, and give it some more highlighting and shading and things like that. And uh, this will be fun to finish off, you know, paint the interior of the mouth. But there is a scenario that was added after the release of the original rules on the website to add a mammoth to the game. Um, the game utilizes double trouble scenarios. They're sort of like random events that can happen in the game. One of them is the storming through of a, a mammoth. And so, um, so this will be great for that. And it's a really, yeah, it's made by DZ. Um, miniatures I believe and uh, it's a really nice looking model so okay so that's my Savage Core update um, I do have a friend local friend that's picking up has already bought the Amazons the original Amazon models um, so I'm gonna have some Amazons to play against with my simians and I'm thinking that besides getting some of the um, 
Double Trouble miniatures that I'm going to need for the game. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to finish off my Cro-Magnons, or excuse me, um, my Neanderthals, and then possibly Atlanteans after that, um, is what I'm thinking. And so next step for painting after the Mammoth is probably going to be at one point the um, both some of the Double Trouble scenario characters in the game, and the Neanderthals, I'm going to finish them off. Um, just for scale, I think I brought my Neanderthal out here, and I can show you. They're pretty big compared to Simeon's um, big size. Um, so yeah, that's just uh, about it for today's update, and hope you guys are having a good one. Talk to you later.